Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place of Binding of Isaac. Afterbirth, uh, I can't remember. The streak may be one higher than it should be because I accidentally did one on the NLSS after I beat the normal seated run that we did that day. But it also may not be. I may have used the third save file. If you're noticing why it's one higher, uh, go watch Thursday, June 23rd's NLSS and you'll see me realize halfway through the run, oh shit, am I using my first save file? This would be a problem because there is a streak on it. Oh shit, this is tough. Uh, NXGR7DCS with Guppy's Tail and the Caffeine Pill and a Devil Card. Uh, good, it seems like good stats at least. But I'll admit, also quite a frightening situation from the perspective of having only one HP. Okay, so I, I freaked out a little bit there because I was like, do these enemies do one full heart of damage? But in my head, I, I trusted the math. I trusted the Isaac math. And my brain was like, they're not gonna get you. After like the third enemy was dead in that room, I looked at the open space and I said, they're not gonna get you. That's good. But I did contemplate using the devil card there. Um, we really, oh, that is a library then back there, which w could win the run. It, like without even being overly dramatic, it, it could save us from a situation that needs saving right now. This run is not bad. It's just that it's bad on HP, you know? It's, uh, it has great guppy potential. We start with a guppy item. Uh, honestly, our damage and tier stats seem pretty good. Didn't die there. <laughs> I thought there might be a chance. Uh, before, I don't know. Like we Maybe we should fight the boss, honestly, and hope to get some HP. Uh, with the devil card, fighting the boss, we're probably less likely to take damage on this room than we are to take one hit from a champion randomly on a, on a shit room. Uh, but I was thinking maybe, you know, we want to go check out our item room in advance of this popping off. Uh, admittedly, two Monstros is kind of a shit draw for us, because they could hit us with a shot that does one full heart of damage. But one's already dead. The other one's already dead. Give me HP or some Spirit Hearts, at least. That's a little Steven. That's not what we were looking for at all. Watch out for spikes. Watch out for spikes. This is the spike room. Alright, what are we looking for? Item room and a key. Key gets us into the... Library. Library possibly contains a free um, Book of Revelations, a free Satanic Bible. Anything along these lines provides us with a fairly enormous benefit. So this is an easy target selection situation. We give priority to the enemy that can kill us in one hit. More keys and more money are also really valuable because they allow us to get... Um, into the shop and possibly buy a spirit heart, but it doesn't look like that's likely right now. Um, so let's hope for a good item room. Key. Lots of money. Still need that key though. Onk. This is actually huge. Um, pretty much puts us in a similar position to our last run. If we weren't going to get something that gave us HP right away, I guess I'm happy we got this, honestly. And I think... Let's try this. Okay, I was looking to see if maybe the secret room was there. It does not appear to be. Um, we can actually maybe get a crawl space or something just by doing that. Fair enough. We tried. Where would our secret room be? Could be there. It's definitely not going to be uh, in between these two rooms. I'm going to take a little bit of a Hail Mary here and look for... It could, no, it couldn't be there. And look for our second secret room right here. And there it is. And we got a black heart out of it. I feel a lot better just with that little bit of peace of mind. I think we played really well on this floor. And I'll tell you when I play like an idiot. That time I'm going to toot my own horn slightly. I think we navigated that floor pretty adeptly given the circumstances. And we really needed to, to put ourselves in a position where we could, you know, not die and lose a, a pretty nice streak right now. So I'm, I'm really pleased with that. Now we did use our bomb. Ooh, never mind. We got an explosion there. I was just going to talk about how, you know, opportunity cost. We used the bomb to get to our second secret room, which is good, but that cost us the opportunity to quickly look at this tinted rock. But actually, it didn't really, because we got small rock out of it uh, through an explosive champion, which is awesome. We also got enough money on our last floor to get a arcade spawn here. So we're hoping that that has a blood bank, and maybe we can get super lucky and find ourselves getting a blood bank. A blood bag, I should say. IV bag would also be fine. Uh, I'm going to gamble until we get down to like five cents. Or we get a key, you know, whichever comes first. I'd like a second key. I, I'd like HP so we can play the blood bags more. I'd like bombs. Wow, that was a great start. Okay, well, we got six cents, five cents, and we didn't win anything. 
That's my bad on that one for sure. Five cents does mean that if we get another key drop, we can still go to our shop and buy a spirit heart if necessary. So, you know, now that I had that pretty good first floor, I'm just trying to keep myself uh, from, from breaking it up, giving myself a lot of opportunities to get second chances. No tinted rocks on here. Um, and what I mean by second chances is if I don't play optimally on this floor and end up taking some shitty damage, hey, at least we can go to our shop possibly or raise our odds of going to the shop and buying a spirit heart should it even have one for sale and, and other, other stuff uh, along those lines. And really, this is uh, it's a tense run to start with here. But we don't need much to make it incredible. Really like a balls of steel pill, a tears up pill, an HP up pill, uh, even a full health pill with um, placebo possibly just wins us the run outright. Start with our item room. It's Yum Heart, which is pretty bad. I think Placebo's got a lot, um, it's got a lot on it. <laughs> it's got a lot of uh, very much better options for us there than we're gonna consider as being useful right now. Um, we could go to the curse room, but not yet. Let's go see what we got in here. It's the haunts. Um, I'm really glad, let's put it this way, I'm really glad that we found the second secret room and got that uh, black heart. Even if it's only a half black heart right now, the haunt's pretty fucking annoying. And could easily hit us once or twice. So we'll live here. We really want to deal with the devil as well. We got HP. Let's not take the HP just yet. Come in here. This is good. My shadow. My shadow. My shadow. Grab the meat. How do we feel about the cursed room? I feel strongly about the cursed room because we have Guppy's tail. We're not going to die on the curse room, in all likelihood. Um, we might as well sacrifice the half black heart for a chance to get something good. Ideally, a second guppy item. But I'll take even Bob's curse is worth it, in my opinion, here. And a spirit heart is basically, a, you know, an even trade. Uh, normally, I probably wouldn't go through the effort of doing this, but... It's not a great run right now. <laughs> I mean, the damage is good, uh, but... And we have the old devil precedent, which is good. But uh, apart from that, we're in a little bit of a shaky position here. So I feel like we should min-max this arcade as best as we possibly can. Good, okay. Like, more keys is one thing. More HP. Even if we got Skatol, like, we're, we're stacking up mild improvements. But I guess our luck stat must be pretty not amazing here. Okay, so we're done. We've, we've milled ourselves out of... All con any and all consumables. Uh, we can get a red heart on the boss fight, but let's just take that down to the next floor. Who knows if we may end up, you know, really needing that. Didn't really get any bombs either. So we'll head down to the next floor, and I guess I should be pleased. We're still alive. Our HP didn't improve, but we have deal with the devil precedent, and our damage improved fairly nicely. We're still just kind of waiting on any pill. It doesn't, like, even a lemon party pill is... Oh, I didn't mean to open that. I was just standing right next to it at the time of conception. Um, it, again, it doesn't have to be an amazing pill. Really, any any pill that is not bad is great. Because we can use it as many times as we'd like here. Um, so what would be, like, an ideal outcome? Maybe a deal with the devil that gives us a guppy item at this point. Even if it costs us our our existing life here... We'll come back as Blue Baby. And if we can get that Guppy Dream sorted, well then, a lot of the tension comes out of this run, which might be bad for you from an entertainment standpoint, but it's great for me. Instead, um, well, not really instead, but at least to start with here, we're going to start with a cube of meats. And or, well, not and or, just or a ball of bandages. Um, don't want to get those logic operators mixed up. You can end up with a whole host of... Subtle debugging issues there. Okay. Ball of bandages. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. It doesn't really make a difference to me at this point. I'm going to make a little bit of an educated guess on this being a second secret room. That sucks. Considering how rarely we've gotten bombs, that one does hurt. What do we do? Well, um, we feel good about the fact that we have a blocker, you know, uh, an orbital. It can do damage. This is really not the right opportunity to do that, though. Um, and we, I guess, just go look for a key. I can survive on a run like this for quite some time, you know? I, I can David Blaine this, I can, I can hold my Isaac breath, relatively speaking, for a little while here. But, um, at some point, something's gotta give. 
and we've got to get uh, something better. We, we got to get... Oh, that was bad. Watch out for the bomb here. Uh, we've got to get something that actually improves our damage to the point where I'm like, one HP is more than enough, which is tough. Or uh, we have to get a lot more HP or survivability in, in some other fashion. Easy shortcut that, that really satisfies, you know, all the boxes we want to tick. Nine lives. A nine lives pickup gives us survivability. It contributes to extra damage. And uh, beyond that, maybe even gives me peace of mind. I'm going to try this room. You got to figure, you know, big room. It's got a lot of chances to have uh, special rooms connected to it. I think that logic holds. But I'm in a little bit of a... I'm, I'm preoccupied right now, so I'm not going to worry too much about whether the math is, strictly speaking, uh, exactly correct. With that, that's the problem with our society, man. Everyone's too busy for proper math. No keys, but we got a lot of bombs now. Let's go check out our... Yeah, okay, our, our mob trap room here does have two stone chests, and those stone chests have given me uh, more bombs, which I'm not really salty about, but I really would love to get, uh, you know, a, a key. Actually, you know what would be cool uh, for interactions here? A bombs or key pill. So that on demand, we could switch between bombs and keys and then use them uh, as necessary. That would be a cool interaction that's not possible with a lot of other items here. So I, I would find that quite titillating. If I may become Dan Giesling's impression of me. Okay, obviously we can't do anything about that, so let's not get too bent out of shape. This could be a secret room. That would be a great opportunity for a secret room, but sadly it did not come to pass. Um, this could be a secret room. Okay, that sucks. That sucks bad. This is a dead end, and an annoying dead end at that. Easy to conceive of taking a hit here. There we go, we made it out. Keys. Uh, I thought there was an eternal heart in there, and I got really excited for a second. No such luck. All right. Uh, this is actually a pretty easy room. Just got to get, you know, the base taken out and the whole house of cards is going to crumble here. Just give me a key. You know I've earned it. Thought I heard something drop, but apparently not. Okay, well, we still have other options, believe it or not. This will be our secret room in all likelihood. Inside of which we find a key. Should have not wasted a bomb here. Life goes on, but that's a little silly. Where do we use our key? Definitely on the shop. Remember it was like last run? I was like, you know what would be smart? Uh, or you know what's nice about this run? Is that we don't have to uh, mill our donation machine to give ourselves a good chance. This time, we're in a greater situation. I have the ability to mill this donation machine, and we should probably do so. So let's enter. Probably two of spades right after. And then go hard on this donation machine. That is actually a lot more money than I expected. I think you definitely take Fanny Pack. I think you definitely take the pill. And it's a health upgrade for now. So you know what I think you do, obviously. You get the battery charge, go health up, man. And then, do we have uh, HP? We don't really have... Uh, sorry, we don't have red hearts around here. So that sucks a little bit, but still, this is good. And then we'll take the key. We'll start opening just a couple of red chests here. Abel's fine. I think I'd like to open one more. Not red chest, sorry, golden chest. I'd like to open one more golden chest. There's plenty of HP around here. What are you talking about? So being at 3 HP is really good. Um, relative to where we were to start this run, of course. But we can still do better. We also have uh, our item room to still go to here. Of course, it's the run where I need to do round table in like 40 minutes. That ends up being this one that takes forever. But that's just, that's just science. I don't really care about Kamikaze. Um, instead we'll crack this open, and we got Fate's Reward! Uh, these are not great items, but it could be a lot worse. So we're leaving the Caves 1 in 13 minutes. Not a good place to be. For boss rush purposes, but for all other purposes, this is okay. And every four rooms we can get an HP upgrade. So this may well become a run that's like, I can't kill it quickly, but I'm gonna be very hard to kill if I get to 12 HP. Let's put it that way. Uh, and the final thing I think I'll do on this floor, we've really been trying to milk this one for all it's worth, but it's given us a lot of safety here, which I really, really appreciate. Oh, that's not our second secret room. So we'll just go. Uh, and I'm I'm really pleased with the way this went down. Hydrate a little bit. And I think we've done, we've really, like, gotten over the worst, hopefully. Our damage is actually such that 
I feel like we're doing fine. Like, now that we actually have 3 HP, the amount of damage we're doing is not as bad anymore, because we don't need it to be so amazing that, you know, it, it just kills enemies on sight. We probably will not have a... Oh, that was dumb. We got really lucky that that mushroom didn't explode in poison, but... Um, we probably will not have a blood bank on this floor, because we didn't bring down more than 5 cents. Well, fanny pack already paying for itself. <laughs> in, in giving us that key for being hit because I'm dumb, um, that's great news. This room is dangerous, though. There we go. That's the good stuff. One more spider, maybe? Yeah. And another bomb, and another health upgrade. Now, of course, this floor is kind of pivotal uh, from a deal with the devil standpoint. We got a 75% chance flat if we don't take red heart damage, which so far so good, but um, we've already lost the spirit heart that was protecting us. We also got the spirit heart that was protecting us on this floor, so it's not like it's, you know, lasted very long, but still. Just stay strong, because one really great deal with the devil at this point could change the game. Two guppy items, or even one guppy item. Um, Abaddon, Death's Touch, you know, so many different options here that, that give us just huge benefits. We're up to 5 HP already. Suicide King is kind of a hilarious idea for a card right now, but not the right time. If it, you'd given me this on the first floor, honestly, I think you probably could have convinced me. But right now is 100% the exact wrong time to try to make this pop. Okay, uh... Homing bombs, this is okay. And then a bomb for a chest with a trinket that we can actually take advantage of. This is this is worth something as well. Probably our second secret room, a regular secret room right here. Um, that contained two bombs and a penny. Wouldn't be very excited about it, except it did let us get the five cents. Um, how did we create a key here? I did not get hit. I'm very confused. Maybe it counts as having beaten the room, weirdly, when you just go through the secret room without hitting the switches? I don't know. Okay, so we have taken damage. Um, I kind of knocked that enemy into me, which is frustrating, but life goes on. There's the um, deal with the devil chance really kind of neutered here, but still. 6 HP. Which is actually pretty good to fight against an enemy like the Stain, where we could get hit once or twice. Fairly easily. The bombs are doing great work. No risk to take damage there after we get through the first little spell. Okay, easy enough. Come on, deal. Ah, we didn't get one. To be honest, we didn't deserve one. Life goes on. I know we could go to our uh, curse room. I'm going to choose not to because HP is a little strange right now. We do have Guppy, but if we come back... Or not Guppy, sorry. If we come back as Blue Baby with the Ankh... I'd be real disappointed going from like six red heart containers to three spirit hearts. Uh, I'm not going to use a key to pick up two bombs. You need to come down here, please. Thank you. Yes, thank you again. Hate you. I hate you. I hate you so much. This room is bullshit. There was a way out of it. As much as I say it's bullshit, there was a way out. If I had just bombed early, then I could have gotten a little bit more dodging space, but I still hate this room. Especially with shots that occasionally make enemies afraid. What shots are making enemies afraid, by the way? I don't fully understand. Oh, you... Don't even start with me here. Don't even start with me. You know what? I'm happy to have the extra HP. There's our spirit heart. Looks like we're probably not getting a deal with the devil here, but Bloody Lust is real solid, dude. And look at that. Full HP. Alright. Now we're rolling. Bloody Lust plus a lot of Red Hearts creates some opportunities for us. The big opportunity that I like here is uh, getting a Blood Bank, playing it, getting IV Bag, then going ape shit. Nah, we're going to go to our shop here. And, and really on the shop, I'm going to go crazy. Whatever you want me to... Whatever you think I can get here that's going to be good, I'm going to get. I'm not taking Starter Deck, though, because Starter Deck is bullshit here. Um, we have... The placebo, so we want to stick with that. Let's check this. Two of hearts. Uh, actually worthless right now, but maybe in the future. Benoit item room, so let's crack this open. Really hoping to get some uh, key kind of like equilibrium flowing. Didn't work. Life goes on. You know what? I'll try this one. Did not work again, but I mean, every bomb that we get is nice. 
Watch out for the, the wall masters here. Come on. I mean, I, I don't know whether to kill you or kiss you. Am I playing a little sloppy now? Almost certainly. At the same time, these enemies are bullshit and I'm mad about it. Can't open that. That's okay. Found our boss fight. This is huge, potentially. Keep going hard on this. I really think this is valuable for several reasons. Bloody Lust is a big one. Luck upgrades, nice. Plenty of cash here as well. Let's be real, we're not getting to boss rush, so what do I care about, you know, costing ourselves a little bit in the time standpoint here. I'm gonna play two more times, then I'm gonna go fight the boss, and then we'll reevaluate, because I really can't afford to lose this, uh, this life. Okay, that's two more times. This is depths one. Brownie's no joke. Fairly easy boss to kill. Difficult boss to kill without getting hit, as we just saw right there. So, I'm thankful we got that other spirit heart. At least it'll protect us on the next floor. We did get a deal with the devil, along with a tears upgrade. It's just a Krampus fight, but still, pretty important. And uh, we're not going to take Krampus's head. I think I'm just going to head down. The blood bank, while interesting, was a little slow because it was over spikes and also scares me. Um, that I could just get a little too aggro on it and end up hurting ourselves long term. Shouldn't have stood there. Good God. Mr. Boom. Um, I mean, at some point we may want to consider dropping the placebo, but it doesn't seem like now's the right time for that. My, why not get to 12 HP and then drop it, right? It's my philosophy right now. So our deal with the Devil Chance here is not going to be incredible, but it could be half decent, uh, depending on what we're able to do on this floor. I really feel like we've we've pulled out a victory from the Jaws of Defeat. This is a very fragile early run, and we've managed to uh, to get through it. Oh, this is really nice. Uh, a key for a key and piercing shots makes our efficiency that much better. Now, before we get that uh, battery charge, we should play our Blood Bank a little bit, I think. We can even play our Blood Bank to the point where it takes some Spirit Arts away if we feel like being absolutely ridiculously wild. Pretty fly. Okay, we could have placeboed it. Let's come in here for a second, though. Okay. Come on. Oh, dude, the extra HP from Fanny Pack is so nice there. This is also giving us Bloody Lust right now. That's fine. Let's let's be cool for now. Let's see if we get some HP back here or here. Wow, we didn't get any, which is a little surprising. I don't really want to push Spirit Hearts away right now, even though we have a charge available, so I'm going to... Save those spirit hearts, hope that we get some red hearts dropped uh, at some point here. Wow, we actually could just go fight the boss, but um, really a prudent decision right now to, uh, of course, visit our item room and our shop. Death card, pretty worthless. What about these? Perks, bombs are key, 48 hour energy, bombs are key again, which I will use. Ah, come on, I'm just waiting for full health here. Well then, uh, still no reason to use a key here. We're going to get to 12 HP as long as we can keep this life alive either way. But, you know, it's just the distribution of that HP that's valuable for us at present. Emperor card. Could... Ah, that was bad. Could get rid of the uh, placebo for an Emperor card. Little dicey, but we'll take Bob's brain. Tammy's head. I want to get to 12 HP before we get, or at least like 10 or 11. A little scary there. Um, before we get rid of the placebo for, for relative good, you know, but there will come a point in which the placebo, because it gives us hard containers but not hearts, is not providing us with as much benefit as we'd like. And, and we're quickly approaching that point. There's a tinted rock there, but... I kind of wonder if a Tinted Rock is really worth anything for us at this point. We already have Small Rock. We don't really benefit from Spirit Hearts. So our bombs, f as fairly limited as they are, might be better served in a different context. This feels like a secret room to me. It was not. Okay, well, we might as well... Well, let's see what we got. Okay, use one health upgrade. Buy this. No real reason to buy pay-to-play. 
Sharp plug doesn't interest me. That's not full health. That is the lovers, though. Okay, so that's pretty big. Let's donate some cash here. Mm hmm. Do you get rid of this placebo for Tammy's head? I think I'm gonna. It's a little, I'll admit, like straight up, it's a little bit more of a boring choice. But I think it is a choice that gives us a, a much better chance of survival. So let's take Tammy's head, and we got rid of our uh, other card for the Emperor as well. Or sorry, our, our health up pill for the Emperor. And the reason is that we're kind of rolling against the clock right now. We are going to take damage, and we don't have a ton of filled HP containers. So I think it's prudent for us, if possible, to, to finish the rest of the run as efficiently as possible. So we're going to take the Polaroid, head down to the next floor. Curse of the uh, Labyrinth would be amazing. Curse of the Blind. I am going to use the Emperor card right now. We can always get another Emperor card later. And this floor is going to be done in like a second. Stem Cells is pretty good because it gives us the actual HP container along with it. Alright. No curse on this one. You can argue until the cows come home about whether or not it was the right decision to use the Emperor card in that situation. But in the end, I think it's not really uh, liable to make much of a difference at all. Whether we used it there or someplace else. So, it's kind of open for a blood bank there. Didn't get one. Life goes on. Keep it up here. Are we going to go curse room? Honest... Oh, that was bad damage. Honestly, at this point, I've kind of given up on the guppy dream. And I, it's like an active... Actively giving up on the guppy dream. Uh, it just costs us a little bit too much in HP terms to pursue it. Especially when we don't have the ability to fly yet. Uh, but we could have the ability to fly after the boss fight on this floor. So if we do, I will maybe make an effort to, to try that out. Um, well, this is, a, this is an interesting situation, isn't it? For the cost of one spirit heart, we can gar guarantee ourselves a deal with the devil on this floor. But it, it's going to fuck up our survival slightly. We could always get it after we confirm whether or not we're going to get a deal with the devil. Like, that doesn't cost us anything, so... Yeah, let's take Liberty Cap as well. Why not go to the boss fight? That was bad, but we got HP out of it. See if we get a deal with the devil, and then check for ourselves. We still have not taken Red Heart damage. Though we probably should have. Um, where's our HP? It's in there. I don't think we can make that fast enough to, to not suffer. You know, we got homing bombs. Great, great work. That was a little dicier, but we can always come back for it, and I think that's the way we should handle it. But I'll admit, it's it's quite tempting to just be like, yeah, sweet. Trade one HP for a deal with the devil. We're going to trade HP for a deal with the devil one way or the other probably anyway, right? How do we get the poison in there? Got all these oh, Bob's brain must have hit. That, that one makes sense. I'm still wondering about the fear shot. I'm not totally convinced... But I remember where that comes from on, on this run in particular. Penny doesn't matter. Okay, a little uh, overkill with those shots there. Spirit Heart, I will take. Uh, we're going to save our keys probably from this point onwards. Seems very sensible. Thank God for the piercing shots here. Oh, excuse me. And Tammy said is it's an investment, right? Like, right now, it doesn't feel that good. But the idea is that in the future, it can be there for us if we get some amazing stuff. But I would probably give it up for Shoot the Whoop if we get it right here. Which we didn't. Because, of course, we didn't. Use a bomb, get a chest. Uh, tempting, but not necessary strictly at the present moment. That is creep. That is weirdo. Oh, what the heck am I doing here? Next to my mom's rear. Oh, oh, okay, you get the idea. Luck up. Yeah, dog. Happy to have it. Lots of benefits potentially for that later. Is that a pretty fly? Oh, it's another luck up. We literally just had that. Probably should have remembered. Rainbow Worm is not good enough to replace Liberty Cap, even if Liberty Cap has kind of intangible benefits on most of these rooms. Gotta say, uh, 
a little bit disappointed at this point with our base damage. Kind of wish we could we could pull it together like a little bit more. But I guess that's what uh, Bloody Lust is there for. Got a little HP here and didn't get hit somehow. Probably shouldn't fuck up our half heart interval, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Come on, dude. Thank you. I do have a deadline to keep here, Fuke Tank. Fantastic. We can hit these. That's not an issue and has never been an issue. Finally, our boss fight. Definitely not fighting Hush. For several reasons, but that's inviting an evil into our lives that I want no part of at the present moment. Uh, let's see what we got here. Come on. Don't take damage on Mom. I think at this point I might go full on like boring mode and not even care about the deal with the devil. Just stack up as much HP as we possibly can and try to ride it to the end. You know, we're, we're on hopefully a downhill slope right here. Run should be getting easier. Did not get hit. Earned a deal with the devil. As such, do not have to pay for the deal with the devil. Let me just go the Skype here. Okay. Five minutes. Coming. All right. Let's do this. Take our time. Gonna use my I, I, imagination. Oh, cause I'm gonna make the streak. No one else here has balls this big. I'm streaking, streaking, he's streaking. I got to have some of your attention. No, if it was YouTube, it'd be, gotta have some viewer retention. Give it to me. Neighbors are going to be super fucking weirded out. Anyway, we roll in here. Lots of HP. And you know what? Fifth key is really good. We've got a luck upgrade. Oh, two luck upgrades, actually. And we have, um, beyond this, Guppy's Tail. So we would be expecting probably to get some, uh... To get some golden chest down on the chest, but as for right now, I'm just, I mean, I guess we want another spirit heart. I'm just hopeful we can actually make this one happen. Uh, I think that we've done it. Honestly, like, I think that the, the HP upgrade has made it very difficult for us to lose. The HP upgrade combined with placebo, and I didn't expect necessarily placebo to knock it out of the park as easily as it did, but it helps when the first pill that you get uh, allows you to get close to the maximum amount of HP in the game. We could have taken it a little further if we wanted to. Five bombs that are all Mr. Mega capable is really good. And we are in our boss fight already here. That's a little bit of dumb damage there. Life goes on though. For those of you who are like, why didn't you take the goat head? I, I feel like you know this, but there's gotta be some of you out here. You don't get the benefit of the goat head on the cathedral and beyond. It no longer provides you with uh, with a guaranteed deal with the devil once you get to that point of the game. Why? Is it inconsistent logic? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe there's lore-based reasons I'm not privy to, but that's just, just something you gotta remember. We're gonna do this. We are doing this. No stopping us. I'm so tempted, and it's just a recipe for disaster. I'm so tempted to use my ball of bandages to get in there. It's the dumbest decision I could possibly fathom right now. But I gotta admit that it's tickling my fancy. I'm looking at it, and I'm like, you know what? We can just look at that. That's the problem, man. Most of the time, it's gonna be a victimless crime. We're gonna get in there, do a little bit of... Oh, that was dumb. We're gonna get in there, do a little bit of bolly ball damage, and then it's gonna be uh, happy go fun times. You never know if that one damage we take there as a result of... Inefficient Bob's brain usage is gonna come back to bite us in the ass when it matters most, you know? We've done it. Down to the chest. Ten and a half, well, nine and a half HP, and a respawn. The ability to open all these chests. Fruitcake, a fly, Game Kid, Unicorn Stump. Sorry, Tammy's head, this is Unicorn Stump Town now. Um, we will be using Unicorn Stump prodigiously, along with our Attack Fly, actually. This makes, like, a pretty nice combo. Um, we're gonna be using these, you fucker, to, uh, 
ba hopefully nuke down rooms before they cause problems for us. And it didn't really work there, but it, it's really awesome that we have two different consumables that we can really benefit from this. Not consumables, sorry. Two different orbitals that we can really use to benefit this. Ball of bandages, of course. And uh, then we also have uh, this fly. The fly doesn't do a, a butt ton of damage, but it's okay. We also have a few bombs. Well, now we have zero bombs, but we're making progress. So it's, you know, that's something there. Fruitcake, also good. I feel the need to mention that because I might have slighted this item in the past. But in particular, if you're suffering from low damage... HP, uh, secret room? No. If you're suffering from low damage, you're going to be stoked to have fruitcake because occasionally it's going to let you hit above your weight class. You know, you're going to have... Um, you're going to have uh, holy lights and you're going to have... Uh, death's touches and etc. Explosivos. So it does provide us with quite a lot of benefit, I think. Tech 2. I think it lowers our damage too much to be useful right now. It's not even like that zany anymore. Like, it's it's played out. Wow, we did next to no damage to Brownie. Bob's brain kind of came through in the clutch, though. One holy light shot clears this whole situation right out, by the way. There we go. <laughs> what did I tell you? A little later than I was hoping for, but got it done. We do have a dead end. Slightly disappointed by that. That was the greatest timing I have ever had on a unicorn stump. Like, ridiculously good timing. Through pure luck. We also have a Joker card. No doubt. Take the Pact. Worth it. One for one HP. Um, does good stuff for us on a damage perspective and a tears perspective. So, uh, not not even a negotiable take. 100% take. Especially with extra tier effects. Or, sorry, extra tier uh, rate helping us out a ton because we have extra tier effects as a result of the fruitcake. So... We'll be getting, you know, Holy Lights and Explosivos that much more frequently. Good work. Black Heart, very useful. Might have been uh, the Serpent's Kiss that, that helped us out there. Mom's Bra is not worth much. Um, we might as well look for a good pill or a Magic Mush, I suppose, but... Perks? Is Perks a good enough pill? I feel like this is a good enough pill to allow us to use our... Um, our ball of bandages is our main damage dealer if we want to. So my new strategy, which did not work out there, is to kind of uh, make sure Bob's brain lands before we use the unicorn stump, just so we get the maximum benefit out of it possible. I'll admit uh, it hasn't really come to fruition yet. Explosivo will presumably stop that right in its tracks. And Bob's brain came through in the clutch there. Come on. We gotta be close. I know we gotta be close. There's just not that much floor left to work with here. Maybe left. Oh, this is a little bit more floor than I expected. At this point, I'm like, give me the fucking bombs. Like, I want the bombs. I gotta admit that there is a little bit of extra uh, duality right now. It's a nice little book ending that we're fighting a bunch of red monstros when these are the enemies that could have easily ended our run, but in instead did not. Thank you very much for that, by the way. And this has been a little bit of a harder run than expected, but honestly, once we got past the first couple of floors, it started to hit. And it's not really gonna, you know, excite people too much from a damage perspective, but from a, um, you know, the puzzle box of Isaac perspective, which is something that I like to talk about, you know, that the correct course of actions to succeed in a given situation, this was a really cool run. Demon Baby is not going to give us much, but it exists, and, you know, in many ways, that's that's enough. What does that mean? No, it's, it's actually constructed to be a completely meaningless sentence that exclusively serves to fill time um, as we work towards getting to the end here. That's probably Beelzebub. What? One of these items does not count for Beelzebub that, in my opinion, should count for Beelzebub. Quarter is not worth anything. Oh, I hate you. I hate you. I timed that poorly that time. And there is our goddamn boss fight. I'm going to pop perks, and I'm going to go ape shit on this guy. I'm going to go crazy on you. Let me go crazy, crazy on you. Do, do, do. I really thought I had invincibility there. Let's not go too crazy on him. Grab this. Okay. Perks it up, baby. Get Bob's brain out of here. Get Bob's brain out of here. It's out of here. Then we use this. Get in there. Drop some Mr. Mega Bombs with my Mr. Mega Balls. 
and we're done. That's going to be win 24. Close to my personal milestone of what I suggested that I'd be happy with. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I got to get going to the roundtable. See you later.